everyone and welcome to this makeup tutorial inspired by Elena Shishkova. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but I gave it a go. So first things first, just wanted to quickly mention that I am not claiming that I look anything like her. I just think she's amazing. She's my girl crush. So naturally I felt the need to make a makeup tutorial inspired by her. This here is the photo that I am going off. If you know who she is, you would have probably seen this photo before. When I first saw it, I was like, who is she? <laughs> She's just amazing. Anyway, it's a really, really straightforward tutorial. It's not going to be anything too, you know, intense or involved, but it's a nice everyday look, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. As you can see, I've already done my base. I use L'Oreal True Match Foundation, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to highlight, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish to set the highlight, and that was in light, and just my NARS powder to set the rest of my face. Then for brows, I just used my Sigma Brow Powder in um, medium, and yeah. Okay, so she has quite bronzed up cheeks. I think I'm actually going to contour and bronze my face rather than just contouring. So I've got my Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Golden Light and my Bobbi Brown uh, Bronzer Brush. Bit on my jawline as well. And she has quite a bit on her temples, I can tell. I'm just going to dot my temples though, I'm not going to blend it up to the top of my forehead, just on my temples. Just quickly I'm going to take the same brush, dip it in that bronzer again and run it through my socket line because she seems to have the same colour on her cheeks as she does on her eyes. So although we will put more stuff on the eyes afterwards, I'm just going to quickly do this now because um, it's just a nice little shortcut. Following that, I'm going to put some blush on. So I think the colour that she has is kind of like a corally, a corally shade. I think it's a very like a very warm toned corally kind of orangey shade. So I'm going to use Milani blush in Luminoso because it doesn't have too much pink to it, but it is quite corally. So I'm going to use that on a, a Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. So I'm just going to apply that where I put the bronzer and then a little bit over my um, the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to blend it up towards my temples a little bit as well. And I can't actually see if she's wearing any highlighter, so I'm just going to assume that she is. And I'm going to use MAC Light Scapade because it is just a pure kind of silvery white shade. And her face looks very white and glowy in this photo. So, well not white, but like highlighted. So I'm just going to apply that on my cheekbones as usual. This is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter F35 brush. I'm going to run that down the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose as well. And on my forehead in the middle here. Now on her eyes, it looks like she's got a white base on the actual base of the eyelid. And she's blended out that shade with a very warm toned brown. I'm going to go in with this MUA Makeup Academy shade in shade 1. Which is a very, very light creamy white shimmery shade pretty much. I want to take that on my finger because that packs on the most product and simply apply that to the very very base of my eyelid. Then I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger and apply that in the inner corner area which has definitely got something in the inner corner to highlight. Then I'm going to go in with that same Bobbi Brown bronzer with this Sigma Pencil E30 brush because she's got that brown shade that she has in her crease underneath the eyes as well. So I'm just going to place that underneath my bottom lash line. If my eyes start going red, please ignore it. It's just, as soon as I bring a small brush close to my eyes, my eyes start going red. So I'm not, you know, doing anything sus <laughs> while I'm filming. My eyes are just fairly sensitive sometimes. So I'm actually going to blend that out with this huge brush because I want this look to be very, very effortless and not clean cut and very very neat. Hers doesn't look neat at all, like in a good way of course. This just looks very like slapped on if that makes sense. Like she hasn't sat there and been like... <laughs> I'm just going to use Blackout from the Naked 2 palette and this brush from Coastal Scents. So all I'm doing is pressing that black into the outer edge of my eye in the lash line. I'm just creating a very soft wing with it. So now it's time for mascara. I'm going to load this on 
This shoe's got quite a lot on. So I'm going to put on these ones here by Red Cherry. They are the number 48 lashes. This is the most exciting part of putting on false lashes. <laughs> Okay, so next step is obviously the lips. Her lips are like the focal point, or her lips and her eyes are the focal point of the whole photo. She has like perfect lips and I obviously don't, but you know what, I'll try to mimic it a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'll use the LA Girl Endless Semi Permanent Auto Lip Liner in Nectar, which is like a incredibly bright red. And naturally, I will overdraw my lips because I normally do a little bit, but hers are obviously massive, so I kind of have to. <laughs> Next, I'll be using this Chi Chi Creamy Matte Liquid Lipstick in Lady in Red. It's like a really nice, vibrant red shade, and she definitely has a nice bright red on. These smells so good. Oh, yummy. <laughs> So this is the finished makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Loved filming it as usual. All of my links to everything like Instagram and Twitter and Facebook page and vlog channel are down below. So yeah, that's pretty much all from me. I hope you guys have a nice day and I will see you soon. Bye.